turning this 1965 fire truck into a toy hauler. So we're gonna cut a bunch of stuff off the back, park a car on top of it, and uh, you know, try to drift it or something. It's a rare day here. Here at Grindhart Plumbing Co. Doing actual plumbing. <laughs> With an actual plumbing tool. Granted, it's fire truck plumbing, but you know, plumbing's plumbing. <laughs> I have a plan for this hose reel. When this thing's all fully converted to a toy hauler, we take some of the massive amounts of extra space and put in like a 100 gallon fuel tank and then use this hose reel probably with like half the amount of hose, but use the hose reel to refuel things. It'd be like a reverse firefighter. You unspool it, you open the nozzle, and start a giant fire. I always talk about weight reduction on every little piece I take off of something. And percentage wise, it's still kind of meaningless because this thing weighs 20,000 pounds. But like, we're getting rid of some serious weight here. This is like 25 pounds right there. baffles all over the place, which makes sense. You wouldn't want it to slosh around while you're driving. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just the overflow it goes straight down to the ground. So if you're filling it and it comes up, it just whoop. We just took out one of these that was up here so we could drive on the car. We found the biggest bolt. You thought you had a long bolt. You got nothing on this. Kick away. <laughs> Last major piece out. Then it's time to load it up with toys. One of the best parts about the fire truck being our toy hauler is mad storage for things like our Jackery Explorer 1500. This is a fully portable solar power generator. Jackery is the sponsor of this video and all of their gear is super portable, easy to use. Here we just have a little zipper with our power cords and a Velcro stand so you can put it up really easy. And this thing has so much power. Even the battery life of this alone without the solar panels plugged in is enough to charge my electric dirt bikes like it's nothing. We can run the grinder off of here it's great for camping. You could plug in a refrigerator, or if your power goes out in your house, you could replace a gas generator that's loud and obnoxious. Jackeries come in all different sizes of battery packs and solar setups, depending on what your needs are. So I definitely click the link below to check it out because this October 18th through 20th, you can get 15% off on a site-wide sale because Jackery is celebrating their ninth anniversary. So definitely check that out. And hey, if we get a power outage, we're gonna keep working because we got the Jackery. I think the plan for the final version here is gonna be to make a deck on this about at this height that goes all the way across. Basically just cut these side rails down to this like fender box level and then make that a big, huge flatbed all the way across. And on this side, that means cutting the top half of the toolboxes off, which is fine because that's more toolbox than we'll ever need for this thing. Uh, but that way we can have a deck that's wide enough for basically anything like the Tacoma or if we built an even wider rock crawler. Uh, and it's low enough that most vehicles wouldn't be too much higher than the cab. Then we still get all these storage boxes here, which are enormous. Probably make ramp storage underneath the deck for because we're going to need some big ramps to get up to this height. The good news is we only really build off-road things because like getting a drift car, slammed drift car up here would be like 20 feet of ramps out there. Uh, we were gonna put the ute up here, but it's still got a broken axle. So driving it up here would be kind of difficult. So we're gonna get the 2J mower fired up and park it on here and see, uh, see what it looks like. You just look like you were born to drive this thing. 
It's actually really fun. My left leg is gonna, do a, well actually, I was gonna say my left leg's gonna be way stronger than my right, but this is just compensation for kickstarting Sendy. <laughs> right leg workout, kickstart the Barbie Jeep. Left leg workout, drive the fire truck. The 2J mower's been sitting for a while. Let's jump start it with the fire truck. <laughs> this should go well. There's a little something something. Okay. Odds we get stuck in the sand pit. The idea is we'll load it right here. Whoa. Oh man, we need a four wheel drive. That's for sure. Well, by the end of the day, our Tesla might pull out a fire truck and a Sherp. That would be crazy. That limited slip rear diff, you know, it'll really get us going. Coming in clutch. Yeah, so now we just need a few feet of ramps that can hold a 2J mower. <laughs> and, uh, be a business. Time to see if it can get out. Come on, baby. There she goes. We made it. Yeah. 
air truck joyride got cut a little short because the gas gauge is uh, vague at best and we didn't even honestly think about putting gas in it before we left so we ran out this video was kind of just to you know get it back out get started on it because it's just been sitting and if we don't get started it's just going to keep sitting so you know we had to make sure it still runs good see see what it was going to you know what it's going to be come up with a plan um so next episode of the fire truck we'll actually start hacking into it we'll cut that whole thing off make it a nice flatbed that still looks vaguely fire trucky but yeah we'll keep working on it and making it a sweet toy hauler and then eventually ideally we'll put a better engine in it diesel swap it make it super pimped out hopefully you guys love it as much as we do because it's just such a cool old truck it's beautiful and it deserves to be used and to be more than it is now.